Hey, this is uh, your host Romy and in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a, a Photon network uh, project with Playmaker. So what Photon is basically, uh, you can see it on the first episode. Uh, in the first episode I've already discussed the basics concept of uh, networking. Uh, creating a multiplayer game networking using Photon, so the basic uh, structure of the uh, how does Photon works, and there I've already uh, also discussed the files needed or the add-ons needed for the project. Okay, now let's jump into our project. Okay, so first we going need to set up the player so in order to do that I'm going to create a new plane create a 3d object create a plane here and I'm going to change the collider to a box collider so I'm going to remove that mesh collider and add a new box collider and then I'm going to create a new capsule for our character placeholder so create 3d, uh, 3D object and create a capsule and as we can see here the plane is too small so I'm going to scale this maybe 5 by 5 and I have created a new material with a textures of uh, this is the ground here so I have a ground texture and it looks like this it's a grid basically and uh, uh, in the material settings I've set the tiling to 50 by 50 so we can see our ground I'm going to apply this ground to our uh, plane here and rename the plane to ground and for the capsule I'm going to, uh, uh, to move this on the y-axis slide above uh, of the ground and I'm going to add a rigid body component so add a rigid body and I'm going to freeze it X rotation and the Z rotation okay so and then I'm going to create a new child object 3d object of cube here and I'm going to scale the X axis to 0 0.2 and the Y axis also 0 0.2 so this uh, acting as the gun here and we can see uh, the capsule direction if we have this object and for this object I'm going to remove its box collider so just remove the box collider here okay let's rename this cube as a player and let's tag uh, give it a tag of player remember save your scene as often as possible you never know if something comes crashing so unscenes tutorial okay one thing I'm going to do is go to the window go to the lighting menu and under the lighting menu I'm going to disable the auto and I'm going to build it once once it gets built I'm going to close it so our lighting solution doesn't change if we try to build or run because with the auto options sometimes the lighting it's a bit darker so it's unreli unreliable okay under the capsule we are going to our playmaker here and I'm going to select the capsule and I'm going to add a new FSM on the capsule. so for the capsule I'm going to uh, rename the FSM to a, a to movement and here under the movement we are going to use a get axis factor and we are going to store it to a new variable just rename this axis vector and maybe change its multiplier to 5 and I'm going to get the velocity of our character and I'm going only to get the y velocity so I'm going to store the y velocity to a new variable called y speed and set this to every frame so we have 
the x and z vector based on our get axis vector and we are going to build a new vector using this value here and the y speed value to a new movement vector so this way if we add if we, if we introduce jumping later it will work perfectly otherwise uh, our jumping uh, the falling will be too slow okay so now after get velocity we are going to set a factor XYZ okay sector set factor uh, 3 XYZ so basically I'm going to set the axis vector here and I'm going to overwrite the Y value to a Y speed here and set this to every frame and then I'm going to add a set velocity In, ve in set velocity, I'm going to assign the axis vector that we have updated here and set this to every frame and make sure the space is swirl. Okay, so I'm going to save this and one more thing, I'm going to add a smooth look at direction. And we are going to use the vector as the direction and for the up vector, I'm going to use a I'm going to disable this use variable and set the y value to 1 and we are going to save the scene and let's try it ah, there you go as you can see our character is moving and it's rotating so now the next thing I'm going to set is the camera so I'm going to move the camera maybe around 10 on the Y axis and I'm going to rotate the X axis to 45 degrees or may make it a bit uh, farther maybe 15 and maybe around 60 degrees I'm going to uh, sorry I'm going to move on the Z to minus 5 let's zero out our capsule so I'm going to zero the X position and the Z position so it stays in the middle okay so this is how it looks on our camera and for the camera I'm going to add a FSM and then here I'm going to add a smooth follow action and here I'm going to create a new variables a game object variables and I'm going to call this player and I'm going to set the value to our player on the scene here okay so we can see our capsule is at 0 and 0 on the X and Z and our main camera is around minus 5 so I'm going to change its distance to around I think our camera is 15 and our capsule is uh, 2 so the distance is around 13 units and the oh sorry not the distance sorry the distance is uh, minus 5 because as you can see the Z value here is uh, this is 0 and the main camera is minus 5 and the height is 13 and I'm going to set the rotation damping to zero so I'm going to save the scene again and let's try it oh sorry I haven't set the target object here so let's set the target object to our newly created uh, variable called player and let's try this again oh sorry I think there is something wrong okay let's set the height damping to oh not height damping but the distance to five because distance is always positive a value so not but even though the Z value is minus 5 but the distance from the player the capsule to the camera is 5 so set that to a positive value oh, sorry this is the weapon I'm going to rename this <laughs> the naming is wrong so capsule I'm going to set this to player okay so and I think <laughs> 
I'm going to change this back to untag and set the player to player. Save the scene and let's try this out. Okay, so now we have a working third person over the top player. So uh, I think that will be all for the first episode and the next episode we are going to start uh, set up the networking uh, component to make this game a uh, uh, a multiplayer game so thanks for watching and I see you on the next episode if you like this channel please subscribe and I would really appreciate if you mm, could donate uh, so I can make more much more better tutorials and more often to upload new tutorials see you on the next episode bye mm -hmm.